Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seat belts and prepare your taste buds as we embark on a relentless journey through the kingdom of brews. Welcome to the realm of intoxicating flavors and head-banging beer reviews. What's up, everybody? It's the Ginger Yeti, and I'm back out on the road. Right now, I'm in Dusseldorf, Germany, at the Sheraton, the airport Sheraton. So I've been traveling since... About 4 p.m. local time, Ohio time for me. And now it's about 2 p.m. the next day. So I'm pretty worn out. First couple legs of the trip weren't too bad, but then I got to Mo Sizely's Cantina, and that was a nightmare. And on top of that, one of my bags is now lost in that black hole. That has to be one of the worst airports in the world. Avoid Heathrow at all costs if you can. That place sucks. Anyways, like I said, I'm chilling out here in Dusseldorf about to start this uh, tour of Whitechapel supporting Die Hard's murder. And after such a rough day, I figured why not have a beer. So today I have Warsteiner. I'm sure everybody's familiar with that. Um, and I'm so lazy, I didn't even look at anything about it. I just jumped right into the video. So maybe I'll put some stats up there about the alcohol. Oh, here it is, 4.8% alcohol. It's about the only thing I can read on this bottle. But the cool thing about this beer, I mean, I've, I've had it a few times before. It's not that good in the U.S. Over here, it's much better, in my opinion. Uh, but the cool thing about this particular beer today is at this hotel, you can dial up a robot. And then it'll come to your door and bring you beers. And I'll post a picture up there, this little robot thing. I think it was called Jeeves. Brought me some beers to the room. Uh, Warsteiner crown there. And that was pretty cool having, having Jeeves bring me some beers. And as I am over in Europe, everything's a... You have to use a bottle opener for it. Nothing's a screw top. Anyways, since I'm traveling back out on the road... Brought back the iconic plastic cup. As you'll see, the hotel does provide real glasses, but I'm gonna just get right into it with the plastic cup. So let's dive on into this beer. Uh, on Untapped, it gets a 3.21. On uh, Beer Advocate, it gets a 79 OK with a 3.46 average. I'm surprised that that average is higher than Untapped. Like I said, I've had this a few times before, and I've, I've generally given it about a three middle of the road beer. Oh, you know what? I dove into this so quickly, I didn't even get my SRM chart out. So now I just go grab that. Got my handy dandy Ohio SRM chart from the winemaker's shop. I mean, that is crystal clear. I don't know, the lighting's not the best in this hotel room, but that is pretty clear but I'm guessing it's going to be about a four or five on this chart yeah we'll give it about four Ohio's how about that smell really malty some malt and that's about all I'm getting but I am a little tired here and I got about two fingers worth of head not dissipating very quickly. Big, pillowy, fluffy head. But I did pour it into a plastic cup. I did knob head it a little bit. But that's all right. Let's try this sucker out. And for the day I've had, that is a tasty beer. You do have a little bit of malt, a little bit of hops, but it's well balanced. Yeah, it's malt and hops. I mean, mild, mild hop fig, yeah, I would say. I mean, this isn't anything that's gonna knock your socks off. But if you need a beer delivered by a robot, you can't go too far wrong with that. So I'm definitely going to give this a uh, 
thumbs up today. Maybe it's just because I'm tired, burnt out from all the traveling. Or maybe I'll give it a thumbs up just because of the robot. But I have had a few of these before. Like I said, I would generally give it a three. And it was like three and a half euro delivered by a robot. I would definitely buy another one of these. Definitely drink another one of these. And I'm going to finish up my rambling here and hopefully go to bed. So this one's for the road and hopefully to put me to sleep.